same stuff. Whether you win or lose, same things that uh, you talk about constantly. You know, there's there's no secret. Uh, everybody knows what you have to do to be successful. And you know, whether you win 20 in a row or lose 20 in a row, you're teaching and working on the same exact stuff, whether you're on the winning side or the losing side. So it doesn't matter. I have two feelings. Uh, one, I dislike it immensely. Uh, but secondly, it does help travel. And I think that was one of their main motivations in putting the schedule together. And it's hard to argue with. I mean, I think they're doing everything they can to listen to people uh, and, you know, give people rest, limit injuries if possible, that sort of stuff, so that we can have a good product. So it's a, it's a double-edged sword. I think mostly it's just a, it's sort of a playoff atmosphere when you're not really geared up for that, you know, especially early in the season. Uh, and it could be very lucky or unlucky based on who you draw or what your situation is. So uh, that's, you know, maybe a little bit more theoretical where the second point about the rest and uh, health is, I think, pretty solid, maybe more tangible than the first. You know, I, I, I haven't really watched it. Uh, I watched some film yesterday and I watched some after. But as you might guess, Anthony is not my problem. I have my own things to worry about. So I'll let Darvin worry about what he wants to do with any of his players. I mean, he's obviously one hell of a player. And I don't think it matters where you play him. He's going to score and he's going to rebound. But he has done a hell of a job on the post. And I think, you know, Darvin is trying to figure out what's best for that group. And the one thing that he has is respect and uh, a tenacity and a knowledge of what it takes. And they're buying in slowly but surely. Uh, and I think they're going to be a, a force before it's all over with. You, you don't spend as much time as you would like to, uh, for obvious reasons. You know, they've got their schedule, you've got your schedule. so. You don't get down there at often. What you do do is every time you can come up for a practice, bring your team, every time the coaches can come up and sit in in our sessions, that kind of thing, then you get some really good synergy uh, between the two programs, especially for bringing guys up and down. Uh, so in that respect, uh, I think we're a little bit more fortunate where we'd see those guys more than most places because it's so close. Uh, and with Darwin, it's no different than other people who have played a certain way with a certain amount of talent. And I mean this as a compliment. I mean, you know, uh, Darwin was not a 25-point scorer, uh, but he was a, a Mario Eli. He was an Ime Udoka. He was those kind of guy. He came out and gave everything he had, and he was tough as nails. You know, P.J. Tucker, you know, those kind of guys. And uh, everybody respected him, and he understood what it took because when you're a little bit more limited, uh, you know your role even better than the superstars do, in a sense. And they see what's going on uh, and how they can complement a team. And those kinds of things are, are learned. And he, he got all that and all the stops that he's had, starting with the D-League. Big smile on his face. We wanted to honor him before the game. Uh, and it's just a great situation for him to be able to get those minutes and play. And he's come a long way, year by year by year. Uh, understanding what it takes and how to use his athleticism, how to make decisions, and uh, he's progressing perfectly.